Hi there, thanks for watching Peter's Super Adventures. And today uh, I'm with my aunt who's from Hungary and she's gonna be teaching us how to make goulash. Now, I know I'm saying it wrong uh, and there's different types. So uh, how do you say it the right way? Goulash. Goulash, okay. And the one we're making today is called? Goulash lavesh, which means goulash soup. Uh, there are different types of goulash. Uh, there is bob goulash, which means bean goulash. Very simple goulash, simply cooked with potatoes. Um, and the most authentic goulash is cooked over the fire in a pot. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so weather permitting, uh, and it's pretty sunny, so we should be pretty good to do an authentic Hungarian goulash in a pot over an open fire. Uh, that gives you the best flavor. Let's get started. So, okay, this is the, that's the Hungarian pepper. Yes. And so you used really about four of them and they were in here. Approximately, yes. But you see, this is um, hot pepper and I don't want the soup to be too hot. So this is the hot part. This membrane, which I'm going to cut out because I don't want the soup to be too spicy. Right. And then if you just use mild peppers, that's okay too. Yeah, because we're gonna have kids, you know, and I don't want... So if you like it spicy, just like throw that. a few more in. Yeah. And that just kind of gets chopped yeah. into small pieces and that's yeah. it. There you go. Oh. Okay, and so what's in here? Our carrots and parsnip. So great, small little bite size. Okay, so now this is just beef. You've got about two kilos of beef here and it's just kind of chopped into cubes. Okay, so now we're making, what are these called? Chipetka. Okay, and what is that? Some sort of Hungarian noodles. Okay. Okay, we use them um, for different soups. I like to add them to my guillage lavash. Okay, great. So what well, you got? One cup of flour? Roughly? Approximately. Approximately, yeah. One Everything egg. with your eyes. And <laughs> as much flour as... Needed the, to make a dough. Needed, yeah. So chipet means um, pinch. Oh, okay. So we're just going to pinch up the little pieces. Into okay. little like round little dough balls. Yes. All right, so I just need to pinch it off. Yes. And I'm squeezing it. You're that's a obviously, bit that's too big. big. Okay. That's Got an it. elephant. That's an elephant. Okay, we need an ant. So just, uh, well, I dropped that one. Let's do another one. <laughs> okay. So then roll it and then Perfect. small. Okay. Good job. Pinch and roll. They look like little yeah. balls. Peas. Peas or beans almost. Little small size of dough. Just like that. And so how much do you need for the soup? Is it that whole that whole cup type of thing? Yes. Alright, so this is the fire pit. Of course, real branches. Oh, I love the real wood. That's the way to do it. Okay, so the fire is nice and hot. We got coals, hot coals, right? And this is what the pot will hang from to uh, cook over the coals. Oh, so okay, what are we doing here? So now, how much oil you're putting in there? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, so. Just like that. You no, know, quarter cup, little bit. Okay. And then that just hangs. Okay, so now we just add the onions. Now, how many onions was that? Three big. Three big onions. Okay, so now that's... You want to take the pot off the fire because you don't want to burn the paprika. Otherwise, okay. it's not gonna taste good. Just a little bit, not too much. <laughs> a little bit Hungarian style. So that would be, what, maybe two tablespoons, maybe? Yes. Two, two generous tablespoons. Maybe three. Maybe three, okay. <laughs> Maybe closer to four. Mm -hmm. You can never go wrong with paprika or paprika. Yeah. Perfect. So and you just mix that through, add, yeah? Yeah, and then we add the meat. Okay, so that's just the chopped meat. Oh. <laughs> and we'll put everything back to the fire. With all the smoke, you get all that amazing smoky flavor. I mean, this is why you want to do it outside over a fire. Can you hear that? Nice. 
Okay, so just a handful of salt. Great. So how much black pepper are you adding? Uh, I don't know, just a little bit. So we're about to add these in. Now, these tomatoes, you took the skin off before you put them in here. So how did you do that? You put them for a minute into a boil. Boiling water. So just kind of if you're like canning tomatoes or type of thing, if people like to do that for sauces, same thing. You boil it, it kind of splits and then you peel. So it's still fresh inside and then you just chopped it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So now it's just going inside. So you can see all the juice is now being released and you're just stirring it all together. Oh wow, that looks so good. Look at the color. So different paprikas or paprikas have different colors. So this is the, you really want that Hungarian proper Hungarian one. Just a touch of red wine because we can't go wrong with red wine, right? Mm. Carrots and parsnips. Yes. All right. So the meat's now cooked and it's all soft and ready and you're ready to kind of add the rest of the, the kind veggies. of the soup to yes. make the soup. All right, so now time to add the potatoes. And it's okay to add the water that the potatoes are in, because it's going to be a soup anyway. Adding more water. Oh, wow. Look at that color. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, and so now you're just adding caraway seed. Yeah, ground caraway seed. Okay, so that's probably what, a good teaspoon, hey? Adding chipetka. All right, so now the soup's done. So amazing. There you go, enjoy. All right, and that's it. That's how easy it was to make a Hungarian goulash with, as a soup, I suppose, made with chepe. Chipetka. Chipetka. See, I'll, I'll say it wrong forever. I'm sorry, everyone in Hungary. Uh, like always, the recipe is on the website. Hit like, subscribe, follow, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm going into the second bowl. It's just so good.